Launching way back in 2017, Sea of Thieves grabbed fans thanks to how gorgeous it looks and initially due to a combination of the pedigree of the developer Rare but also the idea of living a truly free pirate life on the high seas, plundering and, well, generally being a pirate. But it also launched to fairly mediocre reviews, mostly bemoaning the lack of directed content. It was a beautiful world, sure, but it didn't have a lot of things to do in it. Over the years since release, it has received incredible support from the developer, and even recently, Sea of Thieves has been given the Xbox Series X mega quick loading treatment, with those visuals looking better than ever on Microsoft's latest 4K machine. But now, Rare has added seasons to Sea of Thieves, and in fact, the first of those seasons has already begun. The easiest way to describe seasons is that they're kind of similar to a battle pass. Each season will last a few months and will let you progress by earning renown, which you get by handing in loot to the various vendors within the world. And just like with other battle passes, you're going to be able to get through levels, in this case up to 100, and there are also tiers that you can complete, all the while grabbing rewards for your hard work. Again, just like other battle passes, you can use your currency to jump ahead, and doing that will require you to buy the plunder pass. You do get additional rewards for using this method, mind you. But the whole point of Seasons is to add yet more content and reasons to play and return to the game, and Rare say that they will offer unique cosmetics for each season, giving the game potentially years of new content as it moves forward. During each season there will still be monthly updates too, so don't think this is Rare just saying they will update the game every three months and be done with it, they still plan to fix bugs and make quality of life improvements as they go. And for more on Sea of Thieves and everything in the world of gaming, head to NME.com.